Yeah. Yeah, now this is happening. I want to see here. Turn away. That's what I think about these hands. My thumb can do a lot of things. Magical things. No, it can just, it can move in ways that this can't. Like, there's more movement here. There is a, a hinge ability. And I know it's, you can't, with wood, you know, make it stretch, but like, ah, mm. When I want to draw a hand, it's usually something like, you know, this. I guess I could just take a picture of it. Can I take a still picture right now? I don't know. I guess I can't. But I want my hands dynamic when I draw. And this, I was hoping, would help me kind of, you know, work with those kind of situations. But it's just, I don't know. It's not quite, that's not bad. Like, that works. Alright, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have flipped the camera off of this thing. It's not that bad, but still, the thumb bothers me. Like, my thumb can do that, but a normal thumb can't do that, I don't think. The hinge is, like, down here, so, like, should be able to do stuff. Hello everyone, I'm Scott Lowe, this is Dan Stapleton, oh, and this oh, is the I watched this video but earlier. It's kind of reflective of a new rumor that we heard uh, this uh, morning, actually. Uh, that Sony would be pause, introducing it. its own VR head. For Christ's sake. Oh my god, it just wouldn't pause. Yeah, apparently Sony's releasing its own virtual reality headset, which sounds pretty cool from what I understand. But I'm sure it'll be like 400 bucks or something crazy when it first comes out. Give it like a year or two and it'll come down. But I think that'd be a fun thing to kind of check out. Because that's only going to go, you know, further and further over the next 20 years, I'd say, if, if if our country survives that without a little peace and love. <laughs> I've been on a peace and love tangent lately. Maybe I need a hippie van. That'd be kind of fun. Paint a hippie van. They love that down here in Liberty. By the way, I'm just showing examples of what this hand can do. This was, I got this with a 50% off coupon at Michael's for $7.50, which I was shocked. Normally I try to, well, I can't say I try to shop local, but there's a place called the Art Box that, they're, they're pretty good. Their prices aren't too bad. Um, and it just kind of goes to show you, like, how much Michael's and AC Miller really try to rip you off. Those damn big box companies. That's sad because I mean they 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 have all the power really now. Ooh, it kind of hurt. You know, now you know what you're gonna do. Oh, oh, oh! What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, I just went over the top. I just went over the top right there. That was over the top. That was for you, Corey. <laughs> it was so awful. So awful. <laughs> it's too bad. I think maybe Sly uh, screwed up a little bit on that one. I think he thought it was going to be the next Rocky franchise. Oh, uh, well. It wasn't bad, you know. But it was over the top. I mean, it was just... Bam! <laughs> You can't do a thumbs up. <laughs> I always do a thumbs up. But it's, all right, see that's not bad. But <laughs> I'm gonna punch you like this because my thumb doesn't work. <laughs> all right, this is just getting ridiculous tonight. So that being said, I'm gonna configure these just for you, and I'll send you away with a little. Peace and love. Thanks a lot for watching this disastrous 
mess, whatever it may have been. Have a good night.